everybody, welcome into the Nesson Studios. Michaela Vernava, Rachel Holt, you are watching the feed where we go over the best of the best in social media and the internet never disappoints. It was a very busy week as usual. It sure was. There was a lot going on this week. Let's start off with NFL free agency because as we know, things, they got heated pretty early on. Actually got off to a sad start for Patriots fans. A lot of our fan favorites, they're leaving us. As Rob Gronkowski tweeted, uh, and we're all following him on Twitter to see what he will do, not a free agent, but he wrote, bands and make her dance, referring to money, of course, and a lot of his now former teammates getting big contracts. Danny Amendola, he's off to Miami, and a bunch of his teammates are wishing him farewell, including his good buddy Julian Edelman. Edelman writing, hell of a ride these past few years, Dolomite, love that nickname. Save a seat for me down in South Beach. Amendola, I, I don't know, I kind of always thought, I don't want to call him a third wheel, maybe more of a love triangle, the little bromance with him, Edelman, and Brady. So Brady, of course, saying goodbye to the wide receiver, teammate, friend, brother, leader, champion. Brady also posting pics of Malcolm Butler, Deion Lewis, and Nate Solder saying brothers for life, and then NFL memes with the trolling action, soon, sharing this soon, new guys. Titans logo. Creative, That's messed I'll up. give it to you, it's creative. But Jason McCourty joining his brother, Devin, seeing Ooh, double. Oh, got one Jason, on the team. Yeah, nice. and like, looks really happy about it, J-Mac, or maybe that's D-Mac. I don't, they look I don't really exactly know. They're the kind same. Of, they're kind of identical twins. So um, <laughs> but <laughs> this move should make it a lot easier on their mom, who always did the split jersey. Can uh, be all the same in the front now, and you know, obviously the same name in the back. So. Will definitely be a lot easier on her. So good news for Mamo, and good news for Patriots fans. We're all really excited, but a lot of madness going Going on in the AFC East. Speaking of, Bills head coach Sean McDermott wishing the University of Buffalo's men's basketball team good luck in the NCAA tournament. Bills just want to wish Nate Oates and the entire UB basketball team all the best tonight. We're all rooting for you. Horns up. And it worked. The Bulls beat Arizona and messed up some brackets along the way. Bills Mafia, they're all in on Bulls Mafia. And anytime you see a table in a video, Michaela, you know it's going to be good. <laughs> By good, I mean horrible. Uh, yeah. Horrible, especially for the tables. I mean, I'm like, I don't know if that hurt those guys more or the table tables. It hurts me just watching Innocent it. bystander there. Woo! Jeez. All right, so how do we feel about Bulls or Bills Mafia going all in? I'm going to let you go first on this one. I'm sweating a little bit. I mean, I love these videos. I think they're really funny. They just like to have a good time. So I'm smiling watching these videos, but I'm sweating. I don't want to yep. see anyone get hurt. Oh, you're bored. Uh, yeah, yeah, come on, mix it up. Don't people. mess with a good thing. Yeah. But I mean, we've been there. Done Love that. you guys. Seen it. Love mix you guys. It up. But you make me nervous. You make me really nervous. <laughs> well, you know when I was nervous was the end of the Rhode Island Oklahoma game came right down to the wire. URI pulling it off. Go New England teams. Do it right, Stan. Attention, attention. <laughs> Oklahoma, your season is over. <laughs> oh, oh, I feels good. Seen this fired up in a yeah. while. Yeah. Look at them. I mean, that that must feel so good. Moving their name along on the bracket and sticking with the New England teams. This is beautiful. Providence head Amazing. coach Ed Cooley ripped his pants in the Big East tournament, had to put a towel around him, and then you gotta stick with it. I mean, he tweeted out this picture of him preparing for the Texas A&M game. It caught on, started a trend down in Providence. Look at this, students all around the school, looks like some employees, staff members, everybody's rocking the towel. Rachel, how do you feel about that? I love it. I actually ripped my prom dress one year and I cried about it. But Ed Cooley also had the big dance, <laughs> keeping his cool, hey! and he's making it look good, and he made a new trend out of it. And now students are walking around with towels on their waist, making it look awesome. I love it. Look, I look love you it. With that, the, those, that line there. I love I that. Well, I, I was laughing. It is hilarious. I mean, anytime you're ripping your pants, that is really funny. Ripping your prom dress, that's tough. We love March, not just because of March Madness, but because at the very end of this month, also a reason to give the hard eye emoji, the Boston Red Sox have opening day on March 29th. Woo! Yes, finally! Jackie Bradley Jr. is a must follow on the gram, by the way. Do it for the magic tricks. Check this out. Another must follow, Red Sox pitcher Joe Kelly, or rather, Jim Buchanan. This is too much. Kelly is dressing up as a reporter and pranking his teammates, <laughs> and they really don't know what to make of him. Take a listen. One year you were an all-star, and then next year you don't play. <laughs> um, How many home runs are you going to hit this year? 
I don't know, man. I mean, any less than 40, you'll probably get booed. <laughs> what happened in the playoffs? I can't even. <laughs> Are those real or fake? What's that? These, they're yellow. Aren't they supposed to be like shiny and like white? This is real or fake right here? This is real. <laughs> no idea. No clue, man. <laughs> but you know what? I look at you like, man. Remember, I was like, are these real? And you're like, is this real? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is honestly just phenomenal. I love his dedication, the full, the makeup, the hair, that is just, oh, internet gold. No internet way to gold. know who that is under that costume. I don't blame the guys. Yeah, the only the only thing as good, maybe better than Jim Buchanan out there Nothing. on the internet. Cute kids. Oh yeah, cute we love kids. Cute kids. And yep. this, I mean, this is my own tweet, but I was at the Bruins game when Nick Holden, after the game, we're trying to interview him. Look at his kids, they're adorable. Did not want him to do any post-game <laughs> interviews. Where they kind of controlled the play a little bit. <laughs> Too yeah. cute, these kids. I don't blame them. Um, someone who wants Dwayne Wade's wife's attention Ooh. is not going to be getting it anytime mm -mm, soon. Nope. We need to end on this note, Dwayne Wade. Crushing dreams, but I honestly do not blame him. This guy trying to make a move for Gabrielle Union, and Dwayne Wade's just shutting him down, putting him in Hard. his place. Don't come after D. Wade because he will roast you in front of the entire internet and make you feel stupid. She's taken. Find somebody else. And on that note, we will say goodbye. P oh, where'd you get that from? Okay, goodbye. Never,